He said, my son, I told you that the war is very fierce. Didn't I tell you that the battle is not what you think? Didn't I tell you and didn't I tell you that you are still young? I told you, my son, and you had to go forward. Why have you done this to yourself? And he looked at him and he said to him, Ammi Abu Qudama, this is what my mother raised me for. My father died for this cause as well. Do you want me to do you want to deny me? And you of all people, Ya Ammi Abu Qudama, you are telling me to go back when Allah says in the Quran, and what do you fear when fighting in his cause? He said to him, Ya Ammi, this is what I want. Wallahi, I could see my palaces in front of me. If only you could see what I could see, Ya Ammi. And then he said, But I require one thing of you. My mother, when you reach her, she'll be very saddened. And she may not believe you that I have died in the cause of Allah. So I want you to take this piece of my shirt and show it to her so that she can relieve her sadness and know that I am in Jannah and that what she has raised, she will also be in Jannah with me. Let her know that do not be saddened, my mother. I died and you will be with me forever in eternity in Jannah. My mother, I died in the cause of Allah. Now it will be a guarantee that you will be with me and we will be together with my father. He said, because nothing else will calm her heart. He said, Ya Ammi Abu Qudama, I also have a young sister. Her name is Fatih. She's only eight years old. She has grown up with me to love me so much when my father passed away. And I love her extremely. However, my Amm, her love I have never seen like that before. She's too attached to me. When you reach her, please try to look after her. Please try to calm her down. Please try to say soothing words to her. For I fear her consequence. She loves me too much. And don't show her, show her my shirt. Abu Qudama promised. And then while he was holding him in his arms, young Muhammad began to smile. And his smile grew. And then it grew even more. And then even more until he began to giggle with laughter. And he said, Ya Ammi Abu Qudama, La ilaha illallah, Inni la ajidul mardiyata jambi jambi. The woman that he saw in his dreams, her name was Mardiyya. Mardiyya, the pleasing one. He said, Ya Ammi Abu Qudama, look at her. She has just come down from the sky and she is lying beside me holding my hand. She's waiting for me, Ya Ammi. Allah sadaqani wa'dah. He gave me what he has promised. I am going to Jannah with Mardiyya. She will keep me company, Ya Ammi Abu Qudama. Our secret between you and I. And then he died while he was, do while he was biting onto his lip like this and saying to Abu Qudama, Ya Ammi, remember our secret. And he died and went to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a noble death. And then Abu Qudama went back to his land, into, his vill into the village in Raqqa. And all the women went out to meet the Mujahideen. And then came the mother of Muhammad, searching for him. And then she came up to Abu Qudama and she said to him, My son, where is my son? Abu Qudama looked at her and said, he passed away. And he says, he fought in the front line without returning back. And he did what you had advised him and what you trained him to do. He said, I do not believe you. I don't believe you. As, just as her son said. And then he said, but he told me to give you this shirt. And she looked at his shirt and she looked at it and examined it. And she knew that it was the blood and the stains of her young son, Muhammad. And then she cried and put her arms up to Allah. And she said, Alhamdulillah, the one who has saved my son, I will now definitely be guaranteed that I will be reunited with him and my husband. But before that, Abu Qudama saw something, a young girl racing towards every man, fluttering like a butterfly, touching this man and looking at him, then touching another man and looking at him. Then turning another man around and examining his face like a young child does. And Abu Qudama knew that this was Fatima looking for her brother. And so I went up to Fatima and I grabbed her and I hugged her and kissed her. And I said to her, what are you looking for? And Fatima said, my brother, 
Muhammad, where's Muhammad? Where's Muhammad? Do you know where Muhammad is? Do you know where Muhammad is, my brother? I love him. I want to see him. And he promised me that he will return. Because Muhammad said to Abu Qudama, he said to him before he died, I promised my sister that I'm going to return. Otherwise, she would have never left me. But I'm not going to return. He said he promised him that he's going to come back. Where is he? Abu Qudama started to cry. And he said to him, Fatima, your brother says, Assalamu alaikum to you. And he says that soon you're going to meet him in Jannah, insha'Allah. She said, Jannah? Did he die? Abu Qudama said, Yes, but he died a noble cause before he could finish this word. Fatima took a very deep breath and she fell unconscious to the ground. He came to pick her up, but the mother raced to her and she said, Leave her. And she took her daughter away and into the room. Abu Qudama knocked and knocked, but it was too late. He heard the mother inside crying and saying, Oh my Lord, my husband died for your cause and he is in Jannah, insha'Allah. My son, I have sacrificed him for you, ya Allah, and I have raised him. Please do not, do not deny me my presence and my unity with him in Jannah. And now my daughter has passed away and followed her brother. Ya Allah, my husband, my son and my daughter, they are all to you. Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. To Allah we belong and to him we shall return. Oh Allah, guarantee me a place in Jannah with them. Oh Allah, unite me with them. And she began to cry until her voice faded away into the darkness. Abu Qudama kept knocking but she would not open for him. He said, so I left her and I went away. Until this day, my dear companions, the story has remained unexplainable to me.